December 2023 is also a busy month in the night sky, there's the standard, and impressive, spate of meteor showers that pepper the calendar, as well as close visual approaches and lunar occultations with almost all of the visible planets. There's also the December solstice, which marks the changing season, and an ideal opportunity to see a neighboring galaxy. In short, there's no shortage of reasons to bundle up and head out under the cold, clear skies of this month. December 2nd, Peak of the Phionicid Meteor Shower While December is best known for two other meteor showers, the highly active Geminids mid-month and the lesser but still impressive Ursids in late December, the first meteor shower of the month is actually on the night of December 2nd. On this night, the Phonicid meteor shower peaks with only a small number of meteors per hour. For most viewers in North America, the Phonicids will be below the horizon and not visible. This is because the radiant point in the constellation Phoenix is best visible from nearer the equator and the southern hemisphere. For stargazers in Central and South America, Southern Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Southeast Asia, and Oceania, this is a fun chance to try and spot a different meteor shower this month. December 6, Peak of the Phycassiopade Meteor Shower To try and spot Phycassiopade meteors, look for the radiant point in the constellation of Cassiopeia in the sky. You may spot only a few meteors per hour from this point. Based on the Earth's rotation on the night of December 6, the majority may be short-tailed as they enter right at us. The waning crescent moon will provide a bit of obstruction but not much if you decide to head out and spot these meteors. December 8, Mercury at its evening peak. Having only just spotted the smallest planet for the first time earlier this year, I always love a good opportunity try and get out to see Mercury before sunrise or after sunset. In December, your opportunity is the latter. Since Mercury is so close to the Sun, we can only observe it when it reaches its highest aka visually furthest from the Sun. This occurs cyclically as part of Mercury's 88-day orbit, sometimes Mercury reaches its peak in the morning, then in the evening. In any case, on December 8, you'll be able to see Mercury at 10 degrees above the western horizon just after sunset. This is a great opportunity to head out and try to spot the smallest planet. December 9th, Peak of the Monocerotid Meteor Shower For Southern Hemisphere stargazers, here's another meteor shower for you. For the whole night of December 9th, look for meteors from the radiant point in Monoceros. As many people aren't familiar with the faint constellation of Monoceros, look for it in the space between Orion to the west, Gemini to the north, Canis Major to the south, and Hydra to the east. You'll want to use a Starfinder app for this one as it depends on both your latitude and time of viewing as to whether the radiant point will be above the horizon. December 14th, Peak of the Geminid Meteor Shower If you haven't seen any of the meteor showers so far month, December 13th to 15th is the night for it. On this night, the Geminid Meteor Shower will peak with up to 120 meteors per hour, but we probably won't see that many. Look for meteors coming from the constellation of Gemini. Use the bright stars of Castor and Pollux to spot the constellation in the northern sky, for most viewers. Meteor activity is expected to peak around sunset on the 14th, so you can potentially see meteors on the night of December 13th and the night of the 14th. Best of all, the moon is in a highly agreeable phase from the perspective of light obstruction, it will be a waxing crescent through this meteor shower and around 10% illuminated at most. December 19th Lunar Occultation of Neptune the moon will pass in front of Neptune, creating a lunar occultation visible from Western Australia. Although the occultation will only be visible across part of the world, because the moon is so close to the Earth that its position in the sky varies by as much as 2 degrees across the world, a close conjunction between the pair will be more widely visible. December 20th, Peak of the December Leonis Minorid Meteor Shower. Meteors, meteors, everywhere. While the December Leonis Minorid meteor shower is one of the lesser known and least active of the month, it's still a fun astronomical event if you find yourself out for a winter solstice celebration and the skies are dark. On the night of December 20th, look for up to 3 meteors per hour from the radiant point in Leo Minor. The constellation will move high across the southern sky for most viewers. December 21st, December Solstice. For the northern hemisphere, December 21st marks the winter solstice. We've got a great list of winter solstice celebrations to inspire you on the longest night of the year. 
or you could just plan on some stargazing as the moon will be only 18% illuminated. In the southern hemisphere, it's the shortest night of the year, the summer solstice. We have a list of cool summer solstice celebrations if you're curious about those too. December 22nd, Conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter. The Moon and Jupiter will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 2 degrees 36 minutes to the north of Jupiter. The Moon will be 10 days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an appulse. December 27th, Full Moon. The Moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The Cold Moon. The sequence of full moons that fall through the year are sometimes assigned names such as the cold moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. December 31st, Happy New Year 2024. Secrets of Space Team wishes you a very happy new year. May your new year be as vast and magnificent as the universe itself, filled with constellations of joy, galaxies of opportunities, and the celestial beauty of endless discoveries. Happy New Year to all astronomy enthusiasts.